traders, it's 19 minutes past 3 p.m. here in Brisbane on Monday, the 9th of October, and I wanted to update you on my fight with crude oil. Now, I've done the video, the fight card for crude oil about a month ago, so let's go back and have a look at this fight card. So I was looking, I think we were somewhere around here, around this area, and I was looking for a pullback into this last place that the sellers pushed lower, and I marked that with a green line. So this was the area that I was looking to start my offense. As it happened, the market kept on going higher and higher. We had a strong push, a pullback, and then a second push. Then came a very strong sell of that brought the market back into my offense area. Now, I don't mind a fast sell-off. I just need to see that the buyers are indeed coming back into the market around my offense area. So let's drill down into the one hour. So if we'll take a look here on the one hour, the first time we came into the offense area, we reacted to it, but rejected that move and traded lower. Now we can see we started to go sideways. I like the fact that we started to have some buyer's interest coming back around this level, but that wasn't enough. Then we had this three rejection candle off this low, and we can see we start to have a rising momentum indicator. So I started to get interested and I was quite happy with what I'm seeing. However, this was very late in my Friday night. So Basically, what I was looking for was a bit more compression surprise. This was just not enough because the market could easily touch that area and fall from it. Then for those of you who are on the other side of the earth and in a different time zone, we can see we had these compressions of price. So I saw it over the weekend and my plan was to look for a potential break when the market opens on Monday morning. However, due to the weekend events, we can see a gap up in crude oil and a continuation higher. So the market has already passed my point swing area. So I've missed out on an entry to this fight, but if I was in this fight, I'll be looking to move my defense line at least underneath the low of this opening candle. There's increased volatility in the market and I'll be looking to protect the ground that I covered in the ring and also avoid any injuries due to the increased volatility in the market. Happy knockouts, everyone. Bye for now.